Good afternoon, beautiful. It is Saturday, August 18th. It's like one, two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I just refilled the hummingbirds' food and they have been dive bombing me while they were doing it and checking me out as I was filling it. I don't dare look up because I don't want to get poked in the eye by a hummingbird. So, hopefully they'll come around now that it's full and have a drink. Laz is just going ballistic inside. He was all like, oh, I want to go inside. And then I'm like, okay. And so I took him inside. Now he's all like, I don't want to be inside by myself. He just wants to hang out with us, though. But he comes outside and he whines. And he goes inside and he whines. So sometimes... It's easier to not have a whining dog right here. So yes, <laughs> good morning. I am under the impression I have about three to four weeks, maybe two to three weeks of hummingbird viewing left. The lady who does the bird right up in the newspaper in town has told me that. So um, trying to take care of them. We've had hummingbirds come up here since we've moved in, so I don't like those wasps that are on there. And we have this ginormous, huge, like, ginormous wasp nest. I ha I've got a picture of it, I think. I'll throw it up on my Instagram, or I'll tweet it. And uh, so now we're trying to figure out how we're going to get rid of that before we do the roof. Oh, mosquito, mosquito. It rained like six raindrops. So now the mosquitoes are out. Um, so yeah, uh, we have to get rid of that before, like, we can't even move the ladder right now. It's, it's just, it's, it's not a good scene. It's a huge, huge, huge wasp nest. So, I learned that hummingbirds also eat little fry, f little fries. <laughs> they eat little fries. They eat little flies and stuff, like little fruit flies and stuff. Um, because they also need protein, not just, uh, not just sugar water. Which makes sense to me because, like, how do they get their sugar water if we don't make it for them, right? Well, they get plants and stuff and flowers. And there's, I've been trying to get a photo of one of the ginormous dragonflies that come and hang out around here. I love dragonflies. I think they are so neat. They're like flying dinosaurs. But, I mean, like, we have some dragonflies that are bigger than these hummingbirds. And I'm not even kidding you. Being watched from the bushes. Um, that's not a hummingbird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, they are ginormous. They're, like, the size of my hand. Maybe a little smaller lengthwise. I'm not even kidding. Wingspan? Almost the size of my hand. <laughs> I have a, uh, I have a dead dragonfly that I've, you know, like used, save things in a museum, and I kind of done that with it. And oh, I hear it. Hi, hummingbird. I hear you chirping. It's flying up around the things there. Go ahead. You go eat at the planter. I see ya. You let me know you were here. Maybe it's the one that's been eating at the nasturtiums. My hummingbirds chatter. They chip, 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 chip. I, I First time I realized they were doing it. Oh, I've got a mosquito. It was so cute. Mosquito. Hey, shadow. That means there's some sunshine. Um... So yeah, I, I read online that nasturtiums aren't supposed to seed, but then there's that, so now I'm curious. <laughs> mosquitoes. Um, and if that's the case, I think I'm just going to... Ooh, freaking mosquitoes. They're big. I'm going to just, like, let them grow in with the yarrow. And uh, let that happen. Everything needs watering. It was teasing us like it was going to rain, and then it didn't rain. Well, no, I lied. It rained like f four drops. Just enough to get us eaten by mosquitoes. 
Oh, and the hummingbirds have also been at the flax. So yay. I am so happy that has blossomed up because I'm grateful for that. That's the I bought that flax at the grocery store and I planted it. And now look, it grows. And it's so pretty. And the hummingbirds and the bees love it. So yay for that. <laughs> Her zooming around. So I don't know. And I'm wearing pink today. Hold on, hold on. Hi. <laughs> right now it just seems to be the wasps that are enjoying that feeder. Oh, I saw you. I see you guys moving around in there. <laughs> It's different because the branches, they, you know, they sway in the wind, but if a bird lands on it, it's like a little wiggle. It's just a subtle, subtle little difference. Hunting the hummingbirds. Man, they're funny. There's two and they like blip around and they play in the trees and they play chase. Oh, it's just adorable. And I'm grateful that I'm learning and I can build them a better place to come and have snacks and visit and stuff. Because they do migrate and they do come back to the same spot. Which is actually what prompted me to um, get the hummingbird feeder. Because one would come up in between the windows there. Every, every you know, whenever they come in. And um, it would just like come up and it would look at me in the window and be like, bloop, bloop, bloop and then fly away and uh, so we're like hey we really need to get a hummingbird feeder I think everybody in town has a hummingbird feeder and that's good that's why there's so many around it's coming I see it okay, I'm just gonna pause you guys for a minute oh okay well I stopped talking for like 10 seconds. I'm, I'm good. Um, <laughs> something I wanted to run by you guys. Um, JT and I were talking about it. And you, Simon and Laura, you two are my biggest train watchers. So he had suggested because I'm doing so many train videos now that I just start a train channel. Um, I've got some books and stuff and learning about different trains and I'm getting right into it like very excited about it so there's going to be more but because the shocks channel is kind of more cake decorating and crafting he's thinking i should maybe start a train channel so i'm thinking he's right and it's a good idea um what do you guys think let me know in the comments please because that means that you would have to jump another channel to um to catch the trains but I mean, like, if you hit the notifications, it shouldn't matter because then you just go to the next video that I've done anyway. So, I don't know. Let me know how you feel about that. I feel like it's a good move and um, it's probably something that I should work towards. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> I, I'll bounce it off my soundboard. What do you guys think? Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> There's two. One's up in the apple tree. up in the apple tree. It's the dark green with a bright ruby red throat. You hear that little chatter? That's them. There's those two and they come and play. These are, those two zip around the yard, something fierce. And then there's a little baby one that comes around. Okay, well, Pubzilla's going mental in the house. I think this is going to be it for me. 
I'm going to go and tell them it's okay. Oh, I hear them chattering about... Maybe I'll go get my big camera and just set it up for a little while. The view is spectacular. <laughs> I'm so grateful for this. It's just so beautiful. Like, even in the winter when I play with all the pathways and stuff, I'm still thinking about it. It's still my moment of beauty. But for real, I think this is it. I am going to go. I'm going to go get the big camera. Oh, there's a butterfly. How pretty is that? Oh. Yeah, that's what it's like hanging out with me. I'll be in the middle. Oh, look, it's pretty. <laughs> oh, appreciate the beauty. That's what it is, is what it is. I love you guys, and I hope your day is great, and thank you so much for hanging out here with me. We're celebrating the beauty, 365 days of gratitude. It's over in the Caraganas, it might come. There's one there. Or is that a wasp? Hmm. Oh, I don't want to stop filming, because I want you guys to see. Yeah, I should just go get the big camera. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!